Hello, everybody. I'm Stephen Christie, your Buildings and Grounds Chair. I want to welcome you to the Buildings and Grounds episode of All Saints, All Stars 2021. Come on in. After you, every gal that needs a red carpet, especially All Saints 2021, All Saints All Stars. And we have our red carpets right here. Oh, uh, look at this. Filthy carpet. What's the matter with this floor? Everything's worn out. Look, we have Lou Cordero, our facilities manager here, and a lieutenant in the Chicago Fire Department. Lou, welcome. Let me ask you about what's going on here and also what we've done in 2020. Oh, we've uh, kept up with the times with everything that's been going on. Obviously, we've been locked up for a little while, but even though we're still trying to uh, keep this beautiful lady in shape. So we have the scaffolding set up so we can get uh, some repair work on the archway with the cracks and the plaster. We also are going to work on the choir area, get a little makeup over there with uh, some of the ceiling that's uh, cracking also. And tell us about this floor very quickly. What's happening here? Well, we're going to sand and reseal the floors to give it a new look, uh, at least a fresher look uh, than what it has right now, kind of worn out and tired. Okay. So we're kind of trying to refresh it, and we're also going to try to have the uh, carpets cleaned and get that uh, red carpet going as you spoke to a few minutes ago. Excellent. Lou, we wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much for your help at All Saints. Back to you. And here we are, we are live at the All Saints All Stars event. Now many of you may have seen our movie, This Old Rectory, but wait, the story is not over. We have another episode to present at this great event. It is called This Old Interim. And may I now welcome our interim, the Reverend Stephen Applegate, to tell us about what it's been like to actually live in this rectory. Stephen, what are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, let me just say that it is a delight to be here with such a very famous person as yourself. Um, and the second thing I do want to say to this congregation, it's been a pleasure to live in this old rectory in spite of the many things that need to be done to it. Um, I've enjoyed being in that rectory. It's a wonderful old building, and it's a tired old building. Has it played any tricks on you, any quirks to match the quirkiness of our, con uh, con our congregation? Well, I think that from time to time, I wonder if it's haunted. Um, and that's because uh, from the far end, down in the former maids' quarters, um, there are times when the windows rattle and the doors move. And, you know, fortunately, Chicago is the Windy City, so I'm pretty sure it's the wind. But if it not, then the place is clearly haunted. Not a very good thought, particularly coming from a reverend. Can you tell us, please, though, in a more positive light, what is your hope for this old place that you've been living in? Well, what my hope is, is that very soon work can begin to prepare that rectory for the arrival of your next rector. It's a marvelous space, and you want it to be just right for this person as they come to serve you and God here. Okay, thank you, Reverend, and back to you. We are going to move on to the next section of our All Saints All Stars event. Thank you. Folks, it's been a busy 2020. Your Buildings and Grounds Committee has been working with our architects, our engineers, and many other people to get ready for all the work we want to do in this gala 2021. Take a look up here at the parish hall, part of what we're interested in. Repairing the stonework, replacing these bricks. It's as though a waterfall's been running down the side of this building for decades. All this will get done. Folks, like many of us of a certain age, the face of the parish hall is falling off. Take a look up here. Broken stones, flat little, missing mortar, many, many problems, all of which we've worked on in 2020 to fix in 2021. A big thank you to the Buildings and Grounds Committee for all their campus planning work in 2020. And a special thanks to Mark and Katrina Kasten and their children 
for our beautiful Christmas lights. So thank you all for joining us at this gala event and seeing what is going on on your buildings and grounds in 2020. And Reverend, do you have any final words for our, our guests here today? Well, if I remember correctly, this old rectory always ended with a pitch. And so this old interim has to end with a pitch also. If you haven't made a pledge or a contribution to help prepare the old rectory, please do so as soon as possible. We'd really appreciate it as we work to restore that building to its glory. Thank you, Reverend. And you heard it here first. Open those wallets. Have a good year.